Hi all, it's Chispa Day Geopolitics, and today I have the pressing question on everyone's minds. Is Aragon the Ohio of Spain? Now this is a loaded question that I'm sure could cause large amounts of discourse in the comments, but I'll try to stay as fair and impartial as possible. So to start, where is Aragon? Well, right here, in a landlocked position in central northeastern Spain, bordering six other autonomous communities of Spain. Yes, Spain calls them autonomous communities, not states. Those are Catalonia, Valencia, Castilla-La Mancha, Castilla León, La Rioja, and Navarra, and also the nation of France. Now compare that to Ohio, also in the central, north, and eastern quarters of the U.S. Saying northeast might be a bit controversial. But Ohio also doesn't have ocean or sea access, but instead has the Great Lake Erie. Now, if you don't know much about Aragon, one of its most famous leaders in history was King Ferdinand of Aragon, who ruled much of what is now eastern Spain, Corsica, Sicily, and southern Italy, from the late 1400s to the early 1500s. Ferdinand II was famous for marrying Queen Isabella of Castile, ultimately forming Spain, conquering the entire south of Spain from the Moors, and funding Christopher Columbus's expeditions in the New World. You might also know Aragon if you're a fan slash nerd of the game Europa Universalis IV, which is a starting playable nation. Mostly you would play that if you have played Castile too often. But back to the question at hand, I first was curious of this comparison when I saw this political headline in relation to the imminent Spanish national election. Aragon has successfully voted for the winning party in Parliament since 1977. For this fact, the winning party is the party that ultimately has the Prime Minister after the election, since Spain has a parliamentary system with numerous elected political parties, it's a whole thing I'd love to make a video on. So, if you know anything about U.S. politics, for much of its modern history, except recently, Ohio has also selected the winning party in the national election for president. So, can this alone prove for certain that Aragon is the Ohio of Spain? Well, of course not. But let's try to dive into some more details to see if we can come to a more clear solution. So first, looking at population, Aragon only has 1.3 million people compared to Ohio's 11.8 million, nine times more than Aragon. Size-wise, Ohio is nearly 2.5 times larger than Aragon at 116,000 kilometers squared versus Aragon's 48,000. Comparing their largest cities proper by population, however, we see Ohio is just a little bit more than Aragon, with their largest city, Columbus, having around 908,000 residents, with Aragon's largest city, Zaragoza, or Zaragoza if you want to pronounce it like a madrileno, only having 667,000. Interestingly, both serve as their state-slash-autonomy's capital. Moving on to nominal GDP per capita, Ohio is 1.7 times higher than Zaragoza's at 53,000 euros to Aragon's nearly 29,000 per year. Although it is important to point out that the cost of living is of course much lower in Aragon for things like housing, education, food, and healthcare. Aragon's unemployment is 2.6 times higher than Ohio's at nearly 10%, similar to the situation in the rest of Spain. Finally, the Human Development Index is slightly higher in Ohio than Aragon, at 9.14 versus 8.89 out of 10. But let's put some of these numbers into context here. Yes, Aragon is 9 times smaller in population than Ohio, but Spain is also 7 times smaller population-wise than the US, making things much more proportional. Nominal GDP-wise, and yes I had to use nominal as it was difficult to get real GDP figures for some of Spain's autonomies, the US has over double the average GDP of Spain, and again has a slightly higher HDI index. Now, I feel like I've harped on too much about statistics that Ohio does better in, but there's of course things that Aragon does much better with. First, the population with a bachelor's degree is higher in Aragon than Ohio at 33%. Unfortunately, we're not comparing apples to oranges as Aragon is measuring from 16 years old or higher and includes those currently in school, with the US using 25 years old or higher for their statistic. Realistically, this gap is likely greater with Aragon, I mean, Aragon having much more citizens with a bachelor's degree. Overall, crime rates are also much lower in Aragon, by nearly a factor of three, although it's worth mentioning that crime convictions and statistical tracking are handled very differently between these two regions. And lastly, one of the biggest advantages Aragon has of Ohio is average life expectancy, with nearly seven years more in Aragon than Ohio. And to be subjective, Aragon is, on average, prettier than Ohio, with lush landscapes, cities filled with manicured parks and historic towns, hundreds or even thousands of years older than Ohio itself. But even if Ohio sometimes is associated with ugliness, there are a lot of beautiful and important scenic sites, including the vast array of beautiful farmland, caves and rivers, and rapidly developing cities. One thing I do like about Aragon that I think other places should copy is their extensive statistics. 
Their 2020 guide, linked in the description, even includes some quality of life measurements like quantity of movie screens, concert halls, and libraries that have an impact on the life of its residents that rarely gets measured. Now, if you're from Aragon, you might be wanting to scream at your screen because of the presence of the show on the Aragonese television network called Aragon as Ohio. From what I've been able to find, the show started in 2019 and has focused on showing statistically backed data and news about Aragon regarding industry, culture, and environment. Now, I had to dig really far back on their Facebook to find a reason why their show is literally called Aragon is Ohio, and it looks like the creators used this comparison to emphasize their similar size, shape, and representativeness of the average people in their respective countries. It's worth noting that some of the clips of the show are on YouTube, uh, they're in Spanish, you can check them out, although they rarely reference Ohio nowadays. One important thing to point out for Aragon is how much it is dwarfed by its celebrity neighbor to the east, Catalonia. Catalonia has nearly six times the population of Aragon and is home to Spain's second largest city, Barcelona, a cultural and metropolitan powerhouse in Spain. Aragon, while having some speakers of Catalan, particularly in the east, does have speakers of a native non-Spanish language, Aragonese, although its distinction from other languages is disputed. However, only 25,000 speakers of Aragonese are estimated to exist, with most of the autonomy speaking Spanish, sometimes referred to as Castilian, as their official language. It seems then that while Aragon had major importance in the creation of Spain, the Castilians and Catalonians have stolen the show. Looking at Ohio, it is remarkably less dominated by a single neighbor. While bordering five states by land, only one state, Pennsylvania, has more people, with only a little less than two million inhabitant difference. Still, Pennsylvania has a much larger major city in Philadelphia, a city with much more cultural sway than some of the major Ohio cities. One other point, a very common fact known about Spain and Ohio, is that one of Ohio's major cities, Toledo, is named after the former capital of Spain, Toledo. Unfortunately, it is a fact that Toledo is not in Aragon, but instead in Castilla-La Mancha, which, by the way, is a great place to visit by a high-speed train from Madrid for a day. Okay, so now back to the central pillar tying these regions together, their effectiveness in choosing the winning party in national elections. While Spain's political system is quite different from the U.S., Aragon beats Ohio at being correct at 100% of the time, where Ohio, in 2020, did not select the winning overall candidate. Now this is right before the Spanish national election on July 23rd, 2023, so you'll soon see whether their success continues. In conclusion, is Ohio the Aragon of Spain? Sure, if you want it to be, and you see it as useful for understanding both regions and their roles in their respective nations. Both play a similar role overall, not as a flashy leading state, but as one filled with lots of average, regular people that get overlooked or made fun of likely too often. In comparison to the world average, being born in both would likely be a privilege when it comes to get living a good life, although both are far from perfect. Sure, you could say Castilla-La Mancha is really the Ohio of Spain, or Indiana is the Aragon of the US, but in the end, I think both kind of still get each other. And that's that. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and... Hasta luego.